what Hamilton has, which is really interesting, is it's a wonderful size, first of all. It's uh, about 500,000, 600,000 people, so it's big enough to make a difference, but small enough to get your arms around. Uh, but in Hamilton, 20% of our population are living in poverty. And uh, of that 100,000 people, in terms of numbers, uh, over 25,000 were kids under the age of 14. It kind of laid out for us a major challenge that if we don't fix that issue and deal with that issue, uh, we, by definition, we can't be prosperous either. And so uh, we collectively came up with a vision for Hamilton, and that is to make Hamilton the best place to raise a child. If it's a great place for a child to be raised, then it's a great place for everyone to, uh, to live. We came up with a human capital development framework, and that is what we need to do to invest into an individual from the time they're born to the time they die to be as best and as most they possibly can be to be a contributor to our communities. What we're trying to do is actually build a resilient community, resilient people. Uh, the one thing we can be sure of is we cannot predict the future. Um, so if we can't predict it, let's at least make sure that we're most prepared and adaptive for whatever that future brings us. And we know that is education, early years investment, uh, creating communities that are supportive and communicative and that people can actually be engaged in their communities. These are all the types of things that we're putting in place. It's building trust amongst all the various groups and the stakeholders in the community, which is our businesses, the social sector, the individuals living in poverty, uh, and the broad community to recognize that we are all part of the issue and therefore we must all be part of the solution.